Hello everyone, Aaron here from the Whirly Bugger. Uh, the supply we're going to tie is a kind of a cross between an emerger and a dry. It's a little uh, dry fly emerger, uh, deer hair caddis. So we're going to tie this fly on a size 14 mustad curved caddis hook, uh, 14 aught. Vivas thread color is not that crucial. I'm gonna use brown because that's what I had on the bobbin. So I'm gonna lay down our foundation. First thing we're gonna do is tie in a piece of extra copper wire. We're going to bring this back forward here once we got our foundation down. Tie this down the side, down the top. It, it doesn't really matter. This is going to be our ribbing for the fly. <clears throat> I'm stopping about midway between the bend of the hook and the uh, where the point of the hook is, so in that vicinity. We'll take a uh, medium done gray CDC feather and I'm going to take and I'm going to stroke half of the feather forward fibers towards the towards the butt of the to the feather the fat end of the feather. We'll take and lay this on the hook. So it's here. Get our hackle pliers. Just going to evenly wrap this down the body. <clears throat> Just kind of to the halfway point, it's kind of, kind of where you want to stop at. I'm going to take our wire and wrap the opposite direction. even as we can, even segments. Should get like four, four to five of them. Clip off the excess. Now we're gonna take this feather. I'm gonna go a couple of wraps here. Try to pull these CDC fibers back. It's, best as you can. Pull these all back and get them tied down good here. I'll take a fairly small clump of deer hair, about a quarter quarter clump, quarter of a pencil size clump. Comb out all the under under fur and stack it. We want our wing to end right at the back of the, right at the bend of the hook, so I'm going to measure here and get a hold of it, so that's where it ends up.
as you wrap this just keep getting tighter and tighter until you get it all wrapped in good we're going to pull these butts back i'm going to take and wrap underneath here this will help stand them up Try to get all these butts that we pulled back and kind of get them where they need to be. I usually like to start about an eighth of an inch above the fly and then I'll cut it all back and make it nice and uniform. You can always take it off, you can't put it back on, so better to leave it a little tall. Come in and trim everything up nice and uniform. All right, there you have it, CDC Deer Hair Caddis Emerger.